This is gonna be a bit of a discombobulated video, but I got the Pusa XL in today and I'm gonna open it. I was about to cut the top, but look, you, you don't do that, okay? Don't do that. Okay, so I am gonna grab this pull tab and I'm gonna pull. Oh, oh. Wow, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, this is gonna take a while. All right, here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> there it is. Yay, wow, it's big. Oh, this is gonna be good. Look at this. Okay, screw the printer. Like, look at this, okay? It's a bucket of Haribo, and they're, they're XL size gummy bears, too. All right, it's out of the box, and it is massive. It is filling up this whole table front to back. And that print surface is large. There is a letter in here uh, apologizing for the delay and laying out what the what are the extra gifts they included because of the delay or to make up for the delay. Uh, one is an extra steel sheet, the textured sheet. The, the other is the Nextruder adapter, which allows you to just hot swap any sort of uh, other B6 nozzle into the Prusa nozzle um, to fit the Nextruder. It of course came with a congratulations sheet, the 3D printing handbook, the checklist that they run through before they ship things out, and a box of real Prusament, which I sure like. As far as accessories, let's see, it came with a 16 gig uh, flash drive and it came with the power cord. Um, there's a, like miscellaneous tools, including the new wrenches that also came with the Mark IV. They're a little funny. I think one of them has like a little nozzle air thing in there as well. And then the XL accessories bag came with some LCD fasteners, some alcohol wipes, uh, the, the Wi-Fi antenna, some lube, a silicone sock for the Nextruder. And then these transport helpers, Mitch just did to see like, I guess these are gonna help you move it. Huh. And then also came with this box. Uh, I think this is the single tool extruder. Of course, this one, since it's early, only has the one extruder or the one tool. Uh, definitely wanna get more in the future. But inside of here should be the LCD screen as well as the, yeah, that tool head. And I guess there's more in here. Okay, it is assembled and ready and it's doing the self-test. And actually we are at the load cell test part where basically you just tap the nozzle so that it knows that it's good. And I'm gonna do that with both hands now. I noticed that the top of the Z axis have this cool like anti-vibration uh, thing. That's really uh, actually gonna be nice. And I am digging the integrated LED lights that make it nice and bright. The user interface, as far as the LCD screen, is exactly the same as the Mark IV. You can set the different options for the footer. Uh, it's gonna have this like uh, display screen showing you print progress, and the interaction is the same. It's not touch screen yet, but you do everything through this little dial here. It comes with the spill filament spool on the side, and it has a side filament sensor, as well as a filament sensor there in the tool head, and they both obviously <laughs> sense the filaments there. And that comes into play when you're loading the filament, and the filament loads very much like the way the mini loads. This is kind of interesting. It did the initial align off the bed a little bit, but I'm printing a Benchy to start. And there is that first layer going down. It looks like it's perfect. There's a small bit of noise to it, but I mean, for a 3D printer, it's really quiet. That is pretty great. And this is gonna be next to me all day when I'm working over here and it's doable. Okay, we're at 100%. So, wow, it looks pretty good. This is a pretty dang clean Vinci, especially for a 0 0.6 millimeter nozzle. The only thing is there is some stringing, but that is because I like to print a little hot. I like a little stringing to make sure that it doesn't clog on uh, some of my favorite prints. So that is as desired and that's pretty nice. I could probably turn it down though with the next shooter. I'm just being a little, <laughs> I don't know, paranoid. I could probably turn it down a little bit more, but uh, wow, I like that a lot. And I really like that the first layer is perfect.
One thing I just noticed is that it's showing you where it's going to heat the bed. Right there, it shows which sections of the bed it's going to heat. That's pretty cool. So that's my Prusa XL. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, you want to see anything. Uh, yeah.